for government, 2022 was now the time to go full steam ahead in healing the economy to create jobs, especially for our young generation. This was evidenced by our growth figures, averaging 5.2% in 2021, up from 0.4% in 2020, and a startling 6.6% growth in the third quarter of 2021. We outline our comprehensive recovery program, the 100 billion CD Ghana Care Sobatampa program, to focus on the rail sector to do just that. Our 10 billion Ghana Youth Start program will be the most historic intervention for youth employment in our country. However, three things that we did not and could not predict hit us. That one, that Parliament will approve government's 2022 budget statement, the appropriation and its expenditure plans, and then turn around to vote against one of the key revenue generation measures that was being introduced, the e-levy. That the unyielding stance of the minority in Parliament against the e-levy would gravely affect investor confidence in our, in our capacity to implement our programs and settle our debts triggering a downgrading by credit rating agencies and now leaving the city vulnerable as we could not access the international capital markets. Ladies and gentlemen, the third hit was the launch of the attack on Ukraine by Russia on February 24, 2022. The war in Ukraine could not have come at a worse time for the global economy. Already global efforts towards economic recovery from the devastation wreaked by the coronavirus pandemic were being disturbed by supply chain disruptions. Surging inflation and uncertainties in the financial markets with anticipated hikes in interest rates. After February 24, we saw a sharp hike in global oil prices, food prices shocks, especially wheat, oil and gas price hikes, capital risks, aversion, flight to safety, affecting private capital flows to emerging markets as a whole, and all of serious macroeconomic implications. For example, crude oil prices per barrel increased by 75.3% from $74.17 in December 2021, when the 2022 budget was passed, $230 dollars on 7th March 2022 before moderating to $115 as of today. Crude oil prices crossed the $100 mark for the first time since September 2014. We recall that prior to the pandemic, we had built resilience through the implementation of bold and prudent economic measures. Mm -hmm.